All right, this is a quick hitter, but it's gonna be a little bit different. Most of you guys know I usually do my quick hitters blind. Um, I try to go a little faster, but this one's different. Dr. Steven. Dr. Steven, a local friend here, uh, had contacted me and said, hey, I know you've got the single cask nation um, bottling that was done by the independent bottler. All right, single cask nation an American single malt, all right, from Westland. This was only two years old. He said, uh, oh, by the way, before I get to that, this is their packaging. It's almost like corduroy pants, but it's this cool cardboard. I don't know, sorry, strikes me, just strikes me. Um, so he said, would you like to compare it against the Scott Malt, Scott Malt, Scott, I've, I've done two quick hitters and I can't talk. I've not had enough. Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. Hello. They did a, uh, a um, similar, not the same, but similar bottling from Westland, an American single malt, with their independent bottling. So we have two independent bottlers, both going to Westland. Um, I want to say, boy, I think this one's three years. I think Scott Malt, I said it again, Scotch Malt Whiskey Society, not Scott. Sorry, Scott. I like you. You're my co-host, but I can't seem to keep from saying your name. I apologize, brother. Um, I believe this is three years, but I'm not 100% sure. So, uh, but this one clears day two. We're going to pour both of these. Um, and sample them. I will tell you this, when I picked this sample up, just a little bit of the juice seeped out from the cap, got on my hands, and right here, I got it again. I get like a beautiful dark chocolate, almost like a Terra Masu dessert chocolate. Oh boy, is it delicious on that one. We'll have to see. This one, I remember the nose being uh, just a little bit different. Uh, one thing I love about Single Cask Nation, by the way, they also a uh, Jewish whiskey company. They do the Jubilees. They do a glass topper. So you kind of lean it off to the side, it breaks free, and then you can pull it straight out. Um, they design these because they've had a lot of corks real corks fail on them. So we had them on a live show and they said they either do the, um, oh, the unnatural or <laughs> the unnatural cork. That's what they do. They do an unnatural cork or they do glass. So we'll just stick with unnatural cork. If they're watching, they're like, what a goof. All right. Um, let me nose. Huh. Wow, the nose, um, similar but different, more fragrant here. I'm kind of curious. Hmm. All right. I'm going to add water to both of these as well to see. So the Riedel has the two-year Westland. Fifty-seven point eight ABV. They call it a single malt whiskey. You know what's interesting? I can get a little bit of those tiramisu flavors here as well, but it's but it's on the palate. I haven't actually sipped this one yet. You can tell it's a little younger. Uh, that raw that raw spirit feeling still kind of present with it that I don't know kind of like I wanted to say young tiger. <laughs> I don't know what that means hmm. I'm gonna have to come in I get a little bit more of a of that grain rising bread here The dough a spice an all-spice kick That's the chupacabras. I bang the table. May have to pause. All right. 
Mm. Proof. 133.1. Mm. Wow. All right. I can definitely tell uh, that they're cousins. They're like kissing cousins. So the question comes in, what was done? How did, how did they, did they do anything different? Hmm. Or is it simply that extra year that's on it? So distilled, distilled December 2013, bottled May 2014. Oh, idiot. 2016. Sorry, I can't read. Uh, cast number 736, new charred oak. Hmm. And I don't have the particulars here. I'll have to look them up or put the notes in the bottom. So let me just go on how I enjoy them. Uh, It feels a little more spicy than the two-year. You know, Westland's really doing some nice things. I get some of the char. Um, I get, I, I can pick up a wood influence, but it's not overpowering. And what's almost like a licorice. I get a little bit of black licorice after kind of on the finish it's it's but it's the aftertaste of a black licorice my dad loved blackjack gum black licorice not my favorite thing as a kid but every once in a while i'd go in and have some and it's that aftertaste you get after you finish a real good black licorice if that makes sense flavor lingers i get like a some Almost like a baked apple. Not quite that sweet though. And I'm trying to place it. Hmm. It really transitions through the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society bottling. Transitions subtly through some different some different movements. That first rawness. Then the oakiness kicking in, the sweet, subtle, and the licorice rolling in on the finish. And then that lingering licorice-type flavor, black licorice. Hmm. Let me add a little water to that, and then I'm going to come back and try the, uh, uh, the single cask, cask nation. I cannot speak at all. must be because it's the day after Christmas. Hello, I just added water to that one. I meant to just add it to this one which is pretty thin. I'll probably add a little bit more whiskey to that one. So again, I knew this was going to run a little longer. It's not blind. I wanted to do a direct comparison. A dry nut like a walnut, a little bit more astringent than this one. I'm not picking up, not, not as much of the licorice. I'm trying to see what the finish is though. It's interesting, some chocolate. Kind of a, uh, get almost like a, a chewy plum or not. Hmm, let me try. Yeah, the drier astringency, 
um, plum, almost more like a dried plum. Hmm. The nuttiness, which which is very different from here. Oh boy. I would I did water it down a bit much. Hmm. Interesting. Oh my goodness. All right. So final node comparison is the chupacabra keeps barking in. Um, I'll say again, it, you can definitely tell they're related. I actually need to have more varieties from Westland. I, I love the fact that I was able to sample um, not only, again, my bottle, which I've, I've ordered in, um, but to try the Scotch Malt whiskey society's sampling as well um i think westland is really on the forefront and they've been working at it for years on that american single malt i can't wait until we actually get i, I want a legal definition of that um, i would love to see that get legally defined i think we need a few more things to um to kind of corral in what America's doing. I don't know, is corral in the wrong way? Maybe we don't want to corral it in. Maybe we want to free wild the West. So, hmm. Well, thank you, Dr. Stephen. Um, from the two of these, just because someone may ask, I like them both. Um, I wish I had a full bottle of this. This one seems just slightly richer. And again, if memory serves, I think the good doctor told me this was a three year. I could be wrong on that. But if it's three years, I think it's definitely benefited, benefited, I cannot talk, benefited from that extra year. Yeah, just a little smoother, seems a little bit richer. And, and I'm digging that, for me, that black licorice finish. It's Bart, Scotch Test Dummies, and a little bit of a long hitter, open, non-blind comparison. Scotch it, you Scotch gods.